Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis one more time, your favorite medical channel, which sounds exactly as pneumatosis intestinalis. In the previous video, we have talked about Felty syndrome. Today, we have a mnemonic about Felty syndrome, the triad of rheumatoid arthritis, splenomegaly, and neutropenia. With that being said, now let's get started. Actually, I don't have just one mnemonic, I have three mnemonics, and we'll start with the naive ones, and we'll go towards the sophisticated stuff. Quick review of Felty, happens in rheumatoid arthritis, triad of neutropenia, splenomegaly, and nodular rheumatoid arthritis. Nodular mean we have skin nodules, translation, we have extra articular manifestations, translation, we're probably later in the disease stage. Also, we have fever, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and ulcer due to vasculitis. Rheumatoid arthritis plus felt, you have increased risk of lymphoma. Is it Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's? Most probably non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Clinical picture of felty, same as rheumatoid arthritis, so all of the arthritis, the disfigurement, the boutonniere and the swan neck deformity, the Z thumb deformity, the piano key sign, etc. Splenomegaly, why neutrophils are in the spleen? binding the IgG because the spleen is so big, so it has lots of these horrible autoantibodies. These will destroy the neutrophils in the spleen, leading to neutropenia. You have increased risk of infection due to neutropenia. You have anemia, therefore you have fatigue, pallor, tired and pale, pale and tired. Exercise intolerance, fatigue, which isn't the same as tired. Sometimes I have angina, sometimes I have murmur. Thrombocytopenia will lead to bleeding. Fever. And felty is one of the causes of fever of unknown origin. Hepatomegaly, vasculitis leading to ulcers and brown pigmentation of the skin and enlarged lymph nodes. Be very careful of this, these enlarged lymph nodes because they could be lymphoma because I've told you like five seconds ago, rheumatoid arthritis plus felty equals increased risk of lymphoma. Question, if these enlarged lymph nodes are lymphoma, do you think they are going to be painful or painless? And the answer is painless. Cancer is painless. Inflammation is painful. The first mnemonic, which is not super sophisticated, comes from Wikipedia. Santa mnemonic. S. Splenomegaly, anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and arthritis. The problem with this mnemonic is that there is nothing about Santa that reminds me of Felty syndrome. So I added my touch. I felt Santa's footsteps. So you remember Felty syndrome and Santa, ha ha ha. The next mnemonic is gonna be more sophisticated. Felty, I felt the forehead, I felt the spleen, I saw the film, felt no neutrophene. Rheumatoid was here in the background scene, disfigured my look, I'm no longer a queen. My daughter has JRA, her name is Josephine. This is horrible, I'm crying right now. I felt the forehead. Why? Because there is fever. And fever starts with an F, forehead with an F, felt with an F. I felt the spleen. Why? Because we have splenomegaly. Very good. I saw the film. What film are you talking about? I'm talking about the blood film, also known as the peripheral smear. Felt no neutrophene. Why? Because there is neutropenia. You have decreased number of neutrophils in the peripheral smear. Why? Due to peripheral destruction in the spleen. Rheumatoid was here in the background scene. Why? Because Felty syndrome occurs when you have rheumatoid arthritis as a late manifestation of the disease that's not treated well. Disfigured my look, of course, because late stages of rheumatoid arthritis involve extra articular manifestations and erosions and subluxation and ankylosis. I'm no longer a queen. This is so sad. Queen because it's commoner in women. My daughter has JRA. JRA is juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which is the same thing as juvenile idiopathic arthritis. When mommy has rheumatoid arthritis, her daughter is more likely to have juvenile idiopathic arthritis than the normal population. Her name is Josephine because JIA or JRA is commoner in girls. Dear students, do you think the first mnemonic was better? or the second one is better for you to remember Felty? Let me know in the comments, please. Now, this is not the third mnemonic yet. This is just like um, preparation for the third one, okay? The third one is gonna be horrific. For the novice, if you are just getting started in medicine, 
for Felty syndrome, you have to memorize these three. Splenomegaly, rheumatoid arthritis, neutropenia. If you don't know anything else about Felty, I'm not gonna be mad at you, but please don't forget splenomegaly, rheumatoid, and neutropenia. Now, here is the great stuff. For the pros, you have to memorize this triangle and you have to memorize this hexagon. But the triangle, then the triangle, then the triangle, and if you have time, please memorize the hexagon. But the triangle is more important. Splenomegaly, rheumatoid, neutropenia. And the hexagon. It's not triangle or, it's triangle and. Anything that's on the top is increased. So we have fever. Why? Because it's increased body temperature. We have hepatomegaly. Why? Because it's increased the size of the liver. Anything here down is decreased. Anemia because it's decreased red blood cell count. And thrombocytopenia because it's decreased platelet count. Perfect. Now we have two sides left. To make it easier, those two are related to blood. Anemia is related to blood. Vasculitis is related to inflammation of the blood vessel, which is, carries the blood. Okay. Vasculitis, what do you mean? I mean ulcers and hyperpigmentation of the skin. How about this? Those two are related to lymph. Lymph nodes, which is a lymph organ, and the liver, which is lymph organ, especially during childhood. Or precisely before you were born, when you were just a young kid in your mother's womb. So, fever, hepatomegaly, anemia, thrombocytopenia, vasculitis, and large lymph nodes. If you want to be more sophisticated, those two are related to inflammation, and those two are related to leukemia and lymphoma, because when you have leukemia or lymphoma, you have increased white blood cells. You have lymphoma, so enlarged lymph nodes. The white blood cells are going to crowd out other cell lines, such as platelet and red blood cells. You'll end up with thrombocytopenia. This is super sophisticated, not necessarily, but forget it, forget it. So, Felty from scratch. Let's start with the triangle, guys. Okay, so here we have splenomegaly. Here we have rheumatoid arthritis, and here we have neutropenia. Cool. And the hexagon. Okay. All right. Everything on the top is increased. So fever and hepatomegaly. Good. Everything here is decreased. We have anemia and we have thrombocytopenia. Good. Here, those two are related to blood, so we have vasculitis, ulcers, and hyperpigmentation. And here, those two are related to what? Lymph organs. So here we have enlarged lymph nodes. That was the famous Felty. Now, if you are a good student and a humble person, I see you right now. You have the phone in your hand and you're sitting on your butt. So please get off, get a blank piece of paper and try to do this from scratch on your own. Those of you who are humble will get a piece of paper, will do this and they will remember Felty forever. Those of you who are, sorry, arrogant and they think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'll remember this forever. Uh, no, in your exam you'll get it wrong, believe me. Your brain is good at thinking, it's not good at retaining stuff. Because memory is just some neurons connecting together, forming synapses and having neurotransmitter. By the time you are in your exam, three weeks from now, you will forget everything. And you will just end up with few serotonin in your brain, leading to depression, because you're not able to answer the question. If you like these videos about mnemonics, please let me know down below in a comment. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have about 100 cases there or more. And all of these platforms, if you'd like to support this channel and get my PDF notes and audio notes and cases and lots of stuff, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis.